Good morning, good morning, everybody. Joe Chacho here. Happy Monday. Merry Christmas, everybody. I want to go over some things today that agents have been kind of asking me who are preparing for next year. What carriers should I get? Joe, should I start doing Medicare Advantage? Should I start doing supplements? Should I start doing mortgage protection? So I'm going to do kind of give you guys a brief overview on a lot of different areas that you can expand into. Primarily, our base is final expense. Some of you are on a lead program, some of you work referrals, some of you work your own book of business. Which that's part of the game there is we have to get in front of people. My beliefs are when I get in front of somebody, I want to make sure that I've got the proper tools when I'm sitting with them, I can walk out with something. I'm going to kind of make a little leeway right here real quick. Gerber, Mutual Omaha, and a couple other carriers have standalone accidental life programs. Premiums are not high, commission is not high, yet it's a sale. Spoke to an agent last week. He said, Joe, it's really not worth it me doing that there because, you know, <clears throat> I've got other people i got to see. True, yet you're in the house, you built a rapport. If you walk out with a $50,000, $200,000 accidental policy, what you're going to do is you're going to make a minimum, a minimum amount to pay for your lead, gas money, lunch. You're going to make money. So if you already got yourself on their couch or on their table, find out what else they need. Tell them what you do. Give them a table of context of what you have available in your briefcase. So when you're there, speaking about just final expense, they don't need it. Now you leave and now you're saying the lead sucks. So what we've got to do, we've got to get our minds situated again for the coming year and to end up this year. Different carriers, learning different things to speak about when you're with the client. So let's start off with number one. Term carriers. Term carrier underwriting, a whole lot different than a UL, an IUL, and especially simplified issue. Simplified issue has the easiest underwriting known in the insurance industry. Term is tougher because you're getting a higher face amount for a lower premium. So the carrier is saying, you know, Joe, you want to sell Jack Skag that term policy for a quarter million dollars. We want you to ask him more questions about his health. We need to know more about him because Jack's a liability. Jack's paying $35 a month for a $200,000 policy. They got a lot to lose. They want to make sure the clients that you're dealing with are in good health. Transamerica has a non-med term up to age 45, $2 million or less. That's right, up to 45, $2 million or less non-med. All they're going to do is pull an RX and an MIB. If something pops up, they may pull your client's medical records. Number two with them, from 46 to 55, $1 million non-med. Sweet. You need a carry that's got a small term, $25,000, $50,000. You've got rural neighbors. You've got foresters. You've got all the other carriers we have have a small term product. So what I recommend you guys to do is look at the different programs that are available to you. Look and see which carrier you're fond of writing. Trans will probably be your least expensive way to go, followed by the rest of them. And term prices, guys, are based on smoker, non-smoker, male, female, and face amount. So the higher up you go, the premiums are higher, yet the cost per thousand is less. So something you got to put in your rate calculator to see exactly what I'm saying. Let's move on to a cancer policy, a hospital indemnity policy. We've got three carriers that will take care of you on that there. we got Medico, we got GTL, and we have one more there right now. My mind is blank, okay? In the house, cancer policies, hospital indemnity policies. A lot of agents, when they're going to see people for Medicare Advantage, and these people got $5,500 out-of-pocket maximums, they've got $295 a day, $395 a day, depending on where you are to go to the hospital, they're getting into these little hospital indemnity plans 
to offset the cost if they go to the hospital to where they're not broke. Number two, cancer policies. They've got some where they pay you throughout the process, or they have some where it's a lump sum payment, 10, 20, up to $50,000. You get it, God forbid it's internal, doctor sends paperwork in, they will cut you a check for that there. And the beauty about that is, is that I've got health insurance, Joe, I don't need it. Yet, you may be out of work for a little bit. You may not have any sick time, you may not have any vacation time left. So your health insurance will cover most of it, maybe not all of it, yet if you're not working, you still need to pay your bills. Something for you guys to consider when you're speaking to a client. Annuities. Had an agent call up last week. We got Jeremy that works with us at home office. You got a question about an annuity, say, Joe, I've got a client 57 years old. He's got $200,000. He's got $25,000. Wants to do something with it because we all know annuities are called safety of principle primarily for people who want to diversify their portfolio and a lot of older people want it because they know they're not going to lose their principal. You have a client, you're unsure, you call me, I can coach you and guide you. If it's something that's a little bit higher up than something that I may not be totally sure of, give you Jeremy's number, he's going to give you some ideas. And the sweetest part about it is, is that if you know absolutely zero, zero about an annuity, you can't even spell it. You can start asking people if they're happy with their return on their investments. Are they satisfied with the money they're making on their investments? They're going to probably tell you, no, no, or I already have an annuity. From there, we'll tell you what to write down, what to ask. Get on the phone with Jeremy. Jeremy has even gone to the point where he's actually written an application on the phone with the client and the agent right there. Close the deal. Agent made money and the agent knew zero about annuities. Now the agent is getting excited because he knew what he made, and when you make the amount of money in an annuity, which is a pop, it's a pop. There's no health underwriting, there's no MIB, there's no RX. You just gotta make sure you do your suitability testing and you fill out all the paperwork correctly because it is a little bit longer than a regular application. <clears throat> okay, single premium whole lies, primarily what we do. Foresters, Transamerica, America, Liberty Bankers, those are all SIWLs. Very simple underwriting. If you have a client that has COPD, emphysema, lupus, had a heart attack 13 months ago, we have carriers for all of those people to get immediate benefits. A lot of you guys have come from other working places where you only have one application, one way to write something. <clears throat> when you come to work with us, we've got numerous carriers that you're going to put the client with to get them immediate benefits. When you hear a client has things I just mentioned, or they're a diabetic on insulin, those are all immediate issue carriers. If you go to a client's house and the client has this, the wife has that, you may have to put them with two separate carriers, yet they're both getting immediate benefits. When you go to a client's house, let's say you go to a client's house and they have Parkinson's and the carrier that they were put with does not give immediate benefit because that particular agent was working for a company that only has one company in his portfolio. You will tell the client, what about this here? You got a two year waiting period. You got another 21 months. What if I was to get you with this program here? Would that make you feel more comfortable, more safe? So in the event something happens, you're taken care of. Learn the lingo, learn how to speak when they say these things here because we have the tools for you. And the only way for you to learn is to mess it up, guys. I can't say I'm not gonna be happy about it, but sometimes when you just totally screw it up totally, you're gonna take a step backwards and go, man, I shouldn't have said that. Why didn't I say that? So my thoughts to you guys is that when you're speaking about something, have an annuity page, simplified issue page, term, mortgage protection, ULs, accidental. Be looking through it. See what is there so you can ask the questions. Tell me you've done this for a long time. The applications are getting a little bit more cumbersome because of the COVID. 
So I've got to make sure I go down this list. Think of a polite reason to tell them why you're using this sheet to make them feel comfortable if you feel they're staring at you. Granted, they can't read upside down. Okay, lastly, Medicare Advantage. I have been amazed with the amount of people that have come with us to sign up for Medicare Advantage because the light bulb, the elevator's going to the top floor, okay? They're running on all 12 cylinders. Because when you hear now what I'm gonna tell you, the amount of money you can make doing Medicare Advantages or a Medicare supplement, they all have lifetime renewals. You sign somebody up today, as long as they're in your umbrella, it doesn't matter what carrier it's with in the Medicare Advantage arena, you're gonna make renewal on that client every single year. <clears throat> now, is it a pain in the butt to get certified? It is, it's a pain. You gotta go through some tests. They're gonna put you through some hoops, they're gonna put you through some hills and mountains, yet once you do it, you're gonna be able to do it again next year and the year after. This is what I wrote down. For 2022, these are public records for everybody. Everybody gets the same commission on this here. It comes to life insurance, depending on your production, you get what you get. When it comes to Medicare Advantage plans, unless you're an agency, you're just a, just a regular agent working your way, wanting to become an agency, here's step one. <clears throat> if you're in the state of Mavic, all, almost all the national states, Florida is one of them, Georgia, North Carolina, South Carolina, et cetera, et cetera. Somebody who's aging in, somebody who's turning 65 years old or under age disability, they come to you with a Medicare Advantage, you will make $587. That's right, big boys and girls, $587. That client keeps a policy, comes up for renewal the year after. You're gonna make $287 this year, 2022. So if you go and you study, you take the test, you get it all situated, somebody has Medicare and you need to change them from a regular plan to a chronic plan, or they're aging in, you're gonna make money throughout the year. People with Medicare supplements that are on Medicaid, D-SNPs, C-SNPs, those there, you can change people throughout the year, there are rules yet there is money to be made. When it comes to Medicare Advantage, you have to understand, you gotta understand, you gotta believe me on this here. Final expense, Medicare Advantage go hand in hand. Universal lives usually go hand in hand with Medicare supplement if you deal with people who have different forms of income. Here's the other one. If you're in California, aging in is $715. That's also in New Jersey. So California and New Jersey, aging in is $715. And for the renewals, bless you, is $358. Need I say more? Here's what I recommend you guys to do. Think about what you're doing now. Ask yourself, am I happy with the money I'm making? Am I leaving money on the table? Am I calling my existing clients back? Am I asking for referrals? The people who are unsure, am I getting back with them? Because when you add merchandise, you add Arsenal to your portfolio, be it term product with the company you choose, hospital indemnity cancer plan, Medicare supplement plan, additional simplified issue plans. Think about it, when you go into a house, you'll be able to talk about more than one thing. So you guys have got to think about what you want to do for yourselves. I have the stuff for you. Heather, Jay, and Sierra can set you up with it. What I'm doing now, I'm putting the ball in your court to ask yourself, am I happy with the money I'm making? Do I want to make more money? Is this going to incur me studying more? Yes, it will. Is this going to incur me practicing more? Yes, it is. The only way, guys, for you to go up the ladder to make more money is to see a whole lot more people or the same people you're selling trying to cross-sell them to control that house. 
controlling the house of a family is so, so strong for you guys. Because when you go to a house and you take care of, of the father for a simplified issue, <clears throat> you give the mother an accidental policy. You give the aunt that lives there with them a Medicare Advantage policy. You give their son that is there visiting a term policy. You got four policies under one house. Now, when OJ comes in and wants to steal that, Jay's got four obstacles to overcome. Four. If you sell them just final expense, all they got to do is come in with something 35 cents cheaper, and believe it or not, the loyalty is not there like it was when I was younger. They'll switch for 35 cents. Unless you know how to close properly. Unless you let them know that nobody can come do this unless you're aware of it. Okay? These are the things we want you to learn. You need a new carrier, call us. We brought on Baltimore Life. Excuse me, we've had Baltimore Life. We brought on Columbian Life. We brought on GTL. People are signing up for it because they're seeing the value behind it. You may not need it today. You may not need it tomorrow. Yet, it's kind of nice to have this stuff in your pocket. I've got this. I've got this here. So when people want something, you're the one who's going to fulfill their need because they know you and they trust you. Hit them hard, guys. Work hard. Work safe. Be careful out there. Wear your mask to put on the areas you're living in. We love you. If you need something, please call us, and we're here for you. Again, Merry Christmas to you guys. Bye-bye.